Oh, hi kids. As you can tell, or maybe not, I am getting ready for the new school year. Now some of you might have already started, but I am for I work for CPS and we haven't started yet. So I'm getting ready. I got my whistles. I got my com my computer and I'm working on my lesson plans. Um, I know it's not the type of uh, start to the school year we would have liked, but I really hope you're going to try to make the best of it and, uh, and be the best you possibly can in a bad situation. So one thing, the topic we're going to talk about today, which is discussed in the Bible, is conflict resolution. Now you're probably wondering, what the heck is that, Mr. Phil? Well... As a teacher, and for you teachers out there, you probably deal with conflict resolution a lot. I happen to have something called the conflict corner in my gymnasium while I'm teaching. When students have a problem with each other, they go over to the conflict corner and they work out their problem. Here to help us Give an example of what a conflict resolution might be is my son, Austin. Say hi, Austin. Hi. Thanks for helping me out today. So, me and Austin are going to go through a problem. And hopefully you'll have a better understanding of what the conflict corner means. So, Austin, the first step is we stand facing each other with our hands out like this. Then the second step is I explain the problem. So Austin, during the game, I saw that you stepped out of bounds and you didn't get out, but you just kept playing. And that made me feel kind of sad. Why did you do that? I wanted to win really bad. You wanted to win really bad. That is understandable. I want to win too sometimes. So how can we brainstorm together? How can we come up with a solution? What can you do to not do that in the future? Um, I'll play by the rules. Play by the rules, right. And remember that when we play, it's for fun mm -hmm. and to get exercise. It's not always about winning. Yes. Good. I think that's a great solution. So then the fifth step is to shake hands. But because of COVID, let's do this. All right. Good job. Now the last step is let's give a compliment. I'll go first. Austin, I really like that shirt you have on. The Angels baseball shirt. It looks great on you. Can I get one? Yeah. Go ahead. You're the best dad ever. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right. You see, the Bible tells us that it's important to get along well with others. But it's not always easy. In fact, the gospel today mentions how we might have to go through a few steps to fix a conflict we have in a relationship. If someone is having trouble or giving us a hard time, we should try to address the problem and restore the friendship, much like what me and Austin just did in the conflict corner. If that doesn't work, we might need other people to help us out. Much like I tell my students, if they can't fix the problem themselves, then they can come ask me and I'll help them. You could turn to your parents, you could turn to other family members, or even your pastor, and they can help you assist. Sometimes people still might not want to fix the issue, but usually with prayer and care, we can resolve things and be able to work together. The point is, God values relationships. He wants us to do everything we can to keep peace and to stick with one another in friendship. He knows that friendships are important in our lives, as well as they lift the church up. He wants us to love and live well with one another and gives us helpers to keep relationships going. Most importantly, we hear that when we are together with others. God is with us no matter what. He is present with us and will help us when things get rough. So you have been having a problem with someone. If you've been having a problem with someone, talk to them. See if you can come up with a resolution. Work it out. 
you might bring in bring in others for support. But most importantly, pray about it. Why don't we try praying right now? Dear God, help us to resolve our arguments, to remember your grace, and to have good relationships. Thank you for your forgiveness. Help us pass it on to others. Thank you for your love. We love you, God. In your name we pray. Amen. That's it for now, kids. I hope uh, the beginning of school goes well for you. I'll be praying for you. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.